folks, we're back again. Old boy and Georgia guitars and more. Uh, got this thing out and uh, last video we kind of done an unboxing and just a quick overview of it. And uh, today we're going to continue on with uh, looking this thing over a little bit closer this time. And, uh, you know, I've been able to look at it and see a little bit more about, you know, what what's good and what's bad and all that and uh so we'll get it over here and get started on it and, and see what we can find all right i went ahead and took the covers off the back and we'll start with that and uh the first thing you can see is it has full-size pots in it uh you can see that it's it's got the full size pots. They're real cheap pots. And then here's the the switch up here. You can't really see a whole lot, but uh, it's got the you know like I say the there are full size pots, and uh, but they're they're really a real cheap cheap thing. And something <clears throat> that I noticed right away is. You cannot, uh, you got the neck position, you got both pickups, and then this is supposed to be just the bridge, but in this position, both pickups still work just like it was in the middle. And I just at a glance at it, I hadn't seen anything wrong with the wire, and I think it's actually the switch in the switching, but that doesn't matter because all that's coming out anyway. So, uh, that was, uh, that's kind of what we got there. And then too, while, if I can get it around here, uh, and then gonna be able to see down in there, but it's maybe, but it's got the Allen head uh, truss rod adjustment. And the truss rod works. I had to take a little relief out of it, but that's, that's a dead giveaway on a Chibson every time. If, it, if, you, if somebody tries to sell you a Gibson guitar and you take that truss rod cover off and it's got the Allen head, you know, adjustment, then it's not a Gibson. So, uh, okay, and then uh, I got a weight on it, a rough, you know, just a, an approximate weight of 7.1 pounds. So that's a little light. Uh, most last paws will weigh between 8 and 12 you know, usually. So that's, I said in the first video that that was a, that was a little bit, you know, it felt light and sure enough, it's, you know, quite a bit lighter. Uh, the only thing that I've seen other than the fret markers, you know, not being exactly lined up is on the horn. They didn't quite, and this is going to be hard to see, See, they kind of messed up the finish and got it over the binding kind of right in there. And I think that's what makes that horn look kind of wrong. I don't think it's as much the way it's actually cut as it's the, the way they kind of messed that finish up. But first of, first of all, I'm not going to complain about anything. I mean, I'm not going to say, well, it wasn't this and it's wrong with this and it's wrong with that. When you spend a dollar for every hundred, and what I mean by that is I paid $266 for this guitar. So that's about $1 equal in 100 because a real one would have cost me $2,660 or somewhere thereabouts. So you don't expect that kind of, you know, everything to be just perfect. People that order these things and start complaining right away about stuff, they should have never bought one to start with. You, you expect this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, my thing is just to compare the, <clears throat> I did do some measurements on the body and I got some specs off the internet and it varied. I just tried to average out what I was seeing because different places said different things. Uh, the body length, according, you know, from the heel to the end of the body is supposed to be 17 and a quarter. This one measures 17 and 7 16 so it's just a, just a little bit long. Now, across the widest part of the body is supposed to be 12 and 7 8 
mechanisms. Yep, 12 inches and seven eighths right across here, and that's exactly what it is. The widest part up here should measure nine and a quarter, and that's what it, that's exactly what it measured out to. The body thickness, which I measured right here at the, at the very bottom, the thing I, I found anywhere between 48 and a half to 50 millimeters is what I seen on the, the, the diagrams, what I could find or articles, what I could read. Now I may, and I may be wrong on this. I'm not, that's, that's just what I found. And this one measures 48.5 right here at the strap button on the, on the bottom. So, you know, it's pretty close on the, pretty close. I mean, all in all, I mean, it's, it's you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's, the, the body's pretty well. And, you know, the once I got to look at it closer, uh, the inserts on the bridge weren't quite down flush with the body. Not, neither was the inserts for the tailpiece. And I was able just to tap them down. So... They just, you know, and I, they was, they was in tight. They just, you know, I'll just say the rush of production. They didn't take time to make sure that got down correctly. Uh, it's playable. I uh, got to do some fret work on it. I had to, to raise the action on the on the base side a little bit and uh, put a little relief in the neck. So, and the tuners are probably the worst tuners I've ever turned in my life. I mean, you just turn and turn and you think the plastic part's spinning on the shaft and it ain't even turning. And finally, then it'll tune way down or it'll tune way up. I mean, they are, they are not very good. But that's, you know, I'm like I said, I'm not complaining about that. I didn't expect them to be. So what I've done is I have ordered genuine Gibson tuners, uh, the bridge, the tailpiece, the knobs. Is I, you know, I've got that ordered, and that should be here hopefully this week. Also, I ordered all new pots and switch and jack from Guitar Fetish. They're premium kit with the braided wire, the good pots, the good capacitor good switch. I mean, I use those things all the time, and to me, they're as good or better than than anything. I never have problems with them or smooth. So, you know, once that stuff gets here, we'll start, uh, we'll start, you know, upgrading this thing. I've got a set of uh, Iron Gear pickups to go in, in it. Uh, they're uh, the blues driver in the neck, and a dirty torque in the bridge. So we're gonna put those in there because these are microphonic, they they sound, well, I mean, I was playing what I was playing on a Fender Mustang, which they suck anyway, but you know, you can't really tell. But, uh, you know, once I get those parts in, I also ordered a, a bone nut too for it. So we'll, uh, We'll get in, and I'm probably going to lose this pick guard too. I, I'm not a big fan of those. If it don't look bad underneath it for some reason, I, I'm going to take that off. So, uh, but that's kind of an update on what I found so far. Chances are, uh, whenever the tenders get here, chances are I'm going to have to drill those out. They're probably too small. They're probably an eight and I'll need a ten because they have a ferrule that screws down through the top on the on the right tuners. So that's going to be something I really dread because I'm not sure just how good this finish is and I, I don't want to have a big place where I can chip out a big piece and have to fix it. I can fix it. I just don't want to, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to do that. But the tuners are going to have to go. I mean, I know when I was playing, it sounded out of tune, and I tuned it just right before I cut the camera on. And by the time I got to halfway through what I, little thing I was playing, uh, it was already out of tune. And these are the original strings. I'm going to put a set of Ernie Ball uh 1046 is on it. I mean, that's usually what I use. So these strings aren't good, but you know, 
we'll replace the bridge, the tailpiece. I mean, it'll be all original Gibson stuff. Uh, you know, and I'm going to do the frets. And I think possibly, and it's going to, you know, like I say, it's going to hard to see anything. But uh, on these frets, some of them aren't just, they're just not seated real well. Like that first one, you just know I'm not going with this camera. I can't get where you can see in the light, but I could stick, I could actually stick a uh, filler gauge up under those frets. And that's something that uh, whenever, you know, you get one of these and you're going to start doing something to the frets, I usually use, if I can find it here handy, and I don't know where it's at. Uh, I usually just use this wooden block and the small fret hammer. I mean, a little lightweight and just make sure, go through, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate that when we start it, but just go through and gently tap down your frets to make sure that they're seated down because if they're not seated down right and you level them and then when you start playing and pressing on the strings and the frets and all that, you're, gonna, you're really going to be messed up. So, you know, a lot of this may just be getting the frets seated down. They're really not that bad, you know, in, that, in the last video, you know, I took a fret rocker and worked on a few of them and uh, I didn't work on them, but I checked them. And I, and I think it's not going to, you know, it's not going to take much to get that, get that fixed. So, uh, you know, that, that's where I'm at on that. And, uh, that's kind of the plan, but like I say, I'm just waiting on stuff. Now, when I get the other pots, we'll probably have to take a reamer and ream these holes out bigger. Cause even, I feel like even with the bigger size pot, the shaft coming up through here is going to still be that small size. So we're going to have to ream those out a little bit, you know, and, it, and I think with all the upgrades, you know, I think it's going to be a very playable guitar, and I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I'm not complaining about nothing I found at subpar. I mean, that's to be expected for the money. So, you know, it, the biggest thing I was curious about was, like, the body size, the, you know, overall construction, uh, the neck angle, and I don't think it is exactly right. Uh, it's supposed to be a 14% uh, and it's, you know, compared to my SG Epiphone, it's got a steeper angle than the, than it does. And I'm not sure what the, the angle is on a Epiphone. It's not near, you know, nowhere near as steep as a Gibson. So it's got better than it used to be with them, but it's still not, you know, I still don't think it's just right. But anyway, it's, it's you know, it ain't going to matter. That's going to be fine. But we put the, the bone nut on. Put the iron gear pickups in, new electronics, good tuners, good bridge. And this bridge really don't look that bad. Now, something, you know, you've always run into things when you start changing stuff. There's a good possibility that, you know, the bridge that I'm getting is coming with the adjusters, but it don't have the inserts. So there's a chance that the adjusters they're sending me aren't going to fit those inserts. They probably one may be a metric, one standard. I don't know. And hopefully the spacing will be the same. The spacing will be correct because if that's off, it's that's going to be a real problem. So, but I, this bridge is probably something that that we could live with. I mean, it's really you know I've I've seen worse. Uh, and I did check the intonation. Every string is a little flat, but there's room for adjustment. So you know, but I'm measuring the you know measuring. The, the length, it, it is the correct length, and there's room to adjust it either way if you had to. So that was, a, that was a concern of mine, and that seems to be fine. So, you know, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with what, it, what I've got, and I think with just a few upgrades, we'll have something that, and I'll do, you know, I'll figure the cost of everything. The guitar, the upgrades, anything like that, we'll figure exactly what we have in it when we get done and see how it plays. So uh, I don't know what we'll play because apparently YouTube now is, uh, you know, giving copyright strikes to anybody that plays three notes of any given song. So I don't know what we'll play, but we'll figure out something. 
So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to give that quick update and uh, trying to think if there's anything else that I'm leaving out, not thinking of. But, uh, you know, right now I'm just pretty much waiting on parts. And once they get here, we'll, uh, we'll start doing some upgrading. And we'll take these pickups out and we'll look at the cavities and all that and uh, see what that looks like. But, you know, right now I'm not going to scatter everything out because i got other jobs to do. So I'm going to, you know, once that stuff gets in here, we'll do a video of, you know, the tuners, the nut. And we'll just work our way from one end to the other and get this thing right. So I just thought I'd give it a little update. I appreciate everybody you know, giving me the thumbs up and all the views and, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell, you know, I'd really like to have a few more subscribers than what I have. So, you know, it, it you know, it won't cost you a thing. You just want to think about this channel. You get just what you paid for. So, uh, anyway, uh, you know, we'll, but we'll get back on it and, uh, see what we can get done. And I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.